Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Josh Copeland, San Diego's Copy Hero, and today I kind of want to break down the, all of the elements that go into a sales letter. Uh, I'm going to break down everything from the headline, the subheads, the lead, the story aspect, the intro to the product, the features and benefits, the social proof, the, uh, the, the offer, uh, the sense of urgency, and the close. All of these, these are, there's obviously eight of them, right? And so all of them are very, very important if you want to have a solid sales letter. But the thing is, you could actually take this and implement it in pretty much every form of marketing deliverable, every form of content that you have to generate sales, create um, uh, outstanding relationships with your audience and your demographics, and you know, obviously make more money and increase your income and all that other good stuff. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the headline and the subhead specifically. Right, because this right here, if you don't get this part right, nobody is reading your sales letter. Nobody is no you're no you're not getting any conversion, you're not getting anything. And then obviously within the next videos I'm gonna talk about all the other aspects, but to this video, so, uh, headline and subhead. So the headline. So what makes a good headline? A good headline is my phone beeping. No, I'm just kidding. A good headline is a headline that that captures the entire big idea. So a big idea is basically, uh, imagine imagine coming up with an entire concept and then funneling into a little into a, a big idea that everybody can understand. That's what a big idea is. So for example, my phone is ringing, right? Yeah, sorry about that. That's not a big idea. It's just my phone being annoying. In fact, airplane mode. Now where was I? Headline. Big idea. Imagine sitting in a bar with a friend of yours and, you, and you're talking about, you do small chit chat, hey, what's going on, Bob? Oh, nothing much, Jim. And then Bob goes, hey, guys, imagine if, and then he says a thing, your whole purpose as a big idea is for to make your friend go, well, let me know more about that. Tell me more about that, right? And when you can get somebody to do that, you pique their attention. That's what copywriters talk about, grabbing somebody by the collar, uh, having headlines that grab your attention. That's what it is. It's a headline that has a big idea. And it's really important that you get this big idea thing down because everybody talks about how you can have, you know, uh, make $30,000 in the next three minutes if by, by looking at this thing. But that's so gimmicky and scammy that, it, that no one's going to believe you. And because we get hit with all these all these uh, advertisements and marketing messages every day, you know it's going to be a lot harder to pierce through somebody's wall um, of skepticism. So take so here's one thing you could do. For example, um, all of the all of the headlines that I've written for clients, the, the, the ones that have been the most successful are ones that have been backed by a big idea. Like for for example, one I'm working with my mom's business right now, and she's a massage therapist who's putting together this this uh, massage couples therapy class. Now, I could have just marketed it like any other massage couples therapy class, or I could have come up with a giant big idea that every couple can get behind. And so I, I, saw, I thought about it, I did my research, and after a ton of research, I came up with this big idea that uh, she's going to be teaching the OxyTouch, a technique that helps your partner fall in love with you, uh, deeper in love with you with, with a simple touch. That right there is a big idea that's probably making you go, whoa, what, what do you mean? A simple touch, you make your partner fall deeper in love. If you can get your uh, target audience to do that, then you then you win. Obviously, you got their attention enough for about, you know, just a little longer, and then from there on, you hopefully you can carry it through with your lead. Now, that's the headline. Big idea, headline. That's what you want in your headline. The subhead is supposed to uh, encounter any objection that or any objection that they would have after reading the headline so for example um let's say with my mom's headline um study the learn it, the oxytouch technique a technique that makes your partner fall deeper in love with you with a single touch um the first thing they're probably thinking is oh uh, yeah but i mean i've, ne I've never had massaged a day in my life or uh, I, I don't know how to freaking touch somebody or oh i don't want to be all gross gross and sexual and I'm not gonna be a creeper, right? So then with a subhead, you do something like, um, how to make your partner fall deeper in love with you uh, with a simple touch without ever having to know massaging techniques or be sexual or such and such and such and such. And when you can kind of do that with a subhead, then it gets people really, really curious. So to recap it all, what makes a powerful headline? A giant big idea. And then a subhead that backs up that idea. So 
that's what that's what makes a good headline and a good sub headline i'm going to go over more uh more of the elements of a sales letter if you have any other questions feel free to comment below uh, and so that i can address them in my next videos i'm josh copeland san eagles copy hero and i'll talk to you guys soon peace